Hey, it's Brad from BackcountrySkiingCanada.com and today we're going to talk about the Garmin Phoenix 5X GPS watch. New watch from uh, Garmin just released this spring. It replaces the Garmin Phoenix 3, which we reviewed uh, a few years ago. You can find this full review over here. Um, big upgrade from Garmin with the Phoenix 5. Um, the Phoenix 5 comes in three different versions now. This is the 5X. It also comes in the standard 5 option, which is uh, retailing at $800 Canadian, $950 uh, for the Sapphire version. And it's a 47 millimeter wide face, and it does not have it, any mapping capabilities uh, included with it. The 5S version is a smaller version for people with smaller wrists or ladies, and it again is $800 Canadian. Uh, 950 for the sapphire version and that is a little smaller at 42 millimeters uh, in diameter and again no mapping. The 5X which we've got here that we're going to talk more about in this review uh, does have mapping features built in and it's $950 Canadian so a little more expensive uh, $699 US. It only comes in the sapphire version and it's 51 millimeters in diameter so a little bit bigger. Um, Something to note, only the Sapphire versions of those three watches come with Wi-Fi, um, which is useful for updates and also for um, transferring data up to uh, Garmin Connect as well. So the Wi-Fi is a good option to have and it does come in the 5X. So what's new with the uh, Garmin 5X versus the older version of the Phoenix 3? So the biggest thing is maps that I talked about uh, just a second ago. So it comes preloaded with full color US topo maps and this enables you to create round trip routes so if you're in a new town or city you can uh, do a round trip route uh, you can specify how far you want to go and what direction and it'll come up with some different options for you for a bike ride or a run and on that uh, trip it'll actually give you turn by turn instructions of exactly where to go so you won't get lost and it'll return you right back to the starting point it'll also show you a point of interest a POIs such as gas stations, food, and different attractions and things like that. The other thing with the uh, Phoenix 5X uh, and the whole 5 series is the battery life is improved. And the best battery life is with the standard 5, uh, Phoenix 5. And with that, you get um, the uh, smart mode, which is your standard mode. You can get about 14 days of battery life. That's the same on the Phoenix 3. In the, uh, the ultra track mode, you can get uh, up to 60 hours on the Phoenix 5 used to be 50 hours on the 3 and then in standard GPS mode you can get uh, 24 hours on the Phoenix 5 and that used to be 16 so a bit of a, a improvement uh, in the battery uh, which is great always a, always a welcome feature uh, the other big story with the Phoenix 5 and the 5X that I've got here is the uh, quick fit bands so uh, you can change all the bands on the Phoenix 5 versions by just simply sliding a little tab and the bands come right off so this allows you to use the Phoenix 5 for your adventures but also dress it up a little bit with a, a metal or a leather band if you have to go out for dinner or uh, attend a wedding or something like that so a really cool feature with the um, replaceable bands you don't need any tools and they range from about $49 to $149 US the other thing that's changed on the Phoenix 5 series watches is the screen resolution it's now 240 by 240 and it used to be uh, 218 by 218 so a little bit better resolution there and also the colors you're gonna have 60, 64 colors on the new Phoenix 5 the old uh, Phoenix 3 was only six color so you will notice a difference in the graphics and the, the screen resolution on the new Phoenix 5 versus the Phoenix 3 um, the other big thing that's changed is the heart rate monitor it's now an optical heart rate sensor in the back of the watch. It's very flush to the back of the watch so it's very comfortable to wear. It's built in in all models. With the Phoenix 3 it uh, did come out in a later version of the Phoenix 3 but in the review that we uh, prepared we had to use a, a heart rate monitor that you had to wear on your chest. This one's now built in, it's optical, works really well and it uh, samples 24 or 7 and I believe it's a one or two second sample rate so you get a lot of good data that way. Um, other things in the new Phoenix 5, uh, there's a gyroscope in here now, so this helps with uh, the GPS functionality in ultra track mode, and it saves on battery life, so a good little feature. And then it's got, of course, some new sport modes that you'll see in there as well. Um, the other big thing that I really love is the, uh, the charging cable. So for the Phoenix 5 watches, we've got this very small charging cable. And uh, what it used to look like for the Phoenix 3 
was we had a, a really huge charging cradle that uh, was quite large. So as you can see the, the comparison of these two, uh, quite a big difference. This charging cradle was uh, a bit to carry around, especially if you're traveling, it's, it's quite large. So they really made it a lot smaller, which I think is a great new feature for, uh, for traveling with, uh, with the charging cable, which you have to do because you need to keep the, char the uh, charge in the watch. Uh, so that's new as well. And then uh, another new feature that, that I really like is if you uh, press and hold on the light button, you get the, um, the quick access menu. And this will allow you to turn on and off Wi-Fi, control music, uh, lock the screen, put the watch to sleep, um, uh, connect with uh, Wi-Fi, as I said, and uh, also Bluetooth, and uh, also sync up to your phone. So a lot of really quick features in there that you might need just at a push of a button. So that's a, a nice little feature to have. Uh, what's still standard on the Phoenix 5 Series watches that was also standard on the Phoenix 3s is the water rating. So it's rated to uh, 10 atmospheres or 100 meters depth, and that's the IPX8 rating. Uh, storage on the Phoenix 5 is 16 gigs. It still has smart notifications, and you can see the whole uh, entire length of that uh, email or notification from Facebook and things like that. It doesn't cut any of it off. It also has your ABCs, your altimeter, barometer, and compass, as well as temperature. It has activity tracking still included. And then you've got uh, a lot of sport modes, some new ones that you have, uh, new that are versus the old Phoenix 3, so some new ones in there. Uh, you've still got the accelerometer and uh, also the gyroscope. And then uh, you've got, of course, Wi-Fi built in. That is, if you use the Sapphire versions uh, on the 5, 5S, and then the 5X Sapphire is the only version you can get, so it is built in. You've got Bluetooth, and then you've also got smart features. So weather, uh, calendar, and music, they all sync from your phone, so you can sync that up and see all that information on the Phoenix 5 as well. And then, of course, uh, Garmin Connect IQ to download watch faces and different apps and widgets and things. So. The uh, big difference uh, is the maps and then the watch bands, of course, and you won't really notice any difference in size or weight. The Phoenix 5X is 16 grams heavier than the 3, and it is 1.5 millimeters thicker, but uh, you'll be hard pressed to notice the difference when it's on your wrist. And this just is because they had to pack a little bit more technology in there and battery life, so it did make it a little bit, uh, little bit bigger and a little bit heavier, but again, it's minuscule, you won't even notice it. So that's the Phoenix 5X. It retails again for $950 Canadian, about $699 US. Highly recommend you check out this watch if you're in the market for a GPS watch. If you uh, want to check out a review of the Phoenix 3 that we uh, prepared a couple years ago, you can look at that over here. And then go to the website and check out the full written review of the Phoenix 5X to see all the features and uh, further thoughts on what we thought about the, uh, the new 5 series. Uh, all other technology reviews, GPS watches, of course ski gear, boots, bindings, that type of thing. We also do tents and sleeping bags in the summer, as well as paddling, climbing, hiking, and camping. So go to the website and check all those out. Thanks very much.